get lost tonight. Let's get lost tonight. Let's get lost tonight. Let's get lost tonight. What's going on guys, it's your boy Zipski, and today we're talking about the different Dynamax moves and the G-Max moves, or the Gigantamax moves that are in the game. Uh, they do a few different things. Some of them set up the weather, like Max Player, Max Geyser, Max Hailstorm, and Max Rockfall. Uh, some set up terrain, such as Max Lightning, Max uh, Overgrowth, Starfield, and Mindstorm, and then the other ones all... Uh, you can either raise your stats or lower the opponent's stats. And then you have max guard for things. Better non-damaging moves. Those will become max guard, aka a protect for you pretty much. And it protects even against uh, max moves. There's a few different ways you can use these and you need to keep these kind of in mind of who's going to be your... Um, who you want to be your Dynamax uh, user. For example, uh, Max Knuckle raises the, the uh, your attack. So if you're using that on a Pokemon that likes to use fighting or is very physical uh, forward, you use a uh, fighting Max Knuckle, boom, you hit him, and now you're stronger with attack. Or same with the, I believe there's one for special attack. Yeah, Max Ooze. So you use a poison type, boom, you're now more special attack, uh, especially offensive, such as Galarian Weezing. Um, I know he's one that could benefit off of it, even though he's more defensive. So just keep those in mind. Um, same with the weather, max player, boom, your flamethrower is going to be hard, hitting harder, and you can use solar beams anytime you want. Rain, thunders are going to be hitting whenever, and your... Um, and your rain moves are going to be hitting harder. Sandstorm, your if you're rock steel or ground type, you will actually get a special defense boost, which is very very nice. And finally, hailstorm, blizzards will never miss, and there's abilities that can heal you um, and get you more evasive. You just got to keep that kind of in mind. Even though Dynamax moves do only last three turns, if you strategically place these. Uh, the weather one specifically, you can use it on your last turn and then you still have four turns left over. Um, but even if not, it's still very, very strong for you to use and take advantage of those moves. And then you have the G Max moves, which are exclusive to some uh, Pokemon, like Wildfire. Uh, it's for Charizard, inflicts, uh, it's like Fire Spin on non fire type Pokemon. Uh, G Max Befuddle inflicts a status, uh, Volt Crash paralyzes uh, the opponent, Max Gold Rush, which is not really useful for online battles, but is very useful for in game, confuses them, which can be useful, but it's still 30% uh, chance to actually get hurt by confusion, and then scatters money. Uh, Cheese Strike raises crit chance, uh, Terror. You cannot actually leave the battlefield. Uh, foam Burst lowers their speed by two stages. Max Renaissance um, lowers physical and special moves to five turns, aka setting up a Aurora Veil, which is very strong. Uh, Max Cuddle become infatuated. Uh, Snorlax, which is actually not out yet, um, restores a used berry, so it's like a recycle. Uh, Meloder. Uh, poisons the target, Meltdown makes it to where you can't use the same move twice in a row, which Mel Metal is actually not in the game at the current moment either, even though he technically should be a Gen 8 Pokemon, but it's like 7.5, it's very interesting. Wind Rage removes Light Screen, Reflect, Spikes, uh, Electric Terrain, any of that stuff, Stealth Rocks. It's just very, it's very strong. Uh, it's actually like a defog, but it just gets rid of everything. Uh, gravity, uh, Gravitas uh, sets up gravity. Stone Surge sets up uh, Stealth Rock. Volcanith uh, causes additional damage, like a fire spin to four or five turns. Tartness lowers evasiveness. Sweetness heals status conditions of your allies, which is good. These are good for doubles. 
Uh, a lot of these are actually pretty good for doubles. Um, sand Blast creates a sandstorm, and it's considered different from a weather condition. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, max, stu uh, max Shock, Max Stun Shock, and replace Poison or Paralysis. Uh, which makes sense due to the fact that he's a poison and electric type. Senna Scorch, uh, Sinferno. Sets up a Dark Fire Spin, which three of these do like the same thing. Smite, uh, confuses them. Max Snooze, um, pretty much adds a yawn, so it's like if they don't swap, they're just gonna fall asleep. Finale, uh, heals Alakrim and its allies. Steel Surge. Scatters spikes around the field and depletion, which reduces the PP at the last uh, move that the target used. If you guys want to learn more about these, you can always uh, just kind of experiment yourselves with these. But uh, if you want to look them up, this one's actually at Bulbapedia and this one's at Pokemon uh, Pokemon DB. But if you guys want, you can always just Google them too. But yeah, there's different ways to use these different moves, and not all of these um, these Gigantamax ones are actually available in the game yet. People just know that they are in the game in general. But there's different ways to use them. Uh, if you need to set up defense, attack, weather, trains, anything you guys want. It's just right here, and up for the taking, up for the grab, up for the taking. Anything. Thanks guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, I hope you guys learned just a little bit more about the concept of Dynamax moves and Gigantamax moves. And I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Let's get lost tonight. Let's get lost tonight. Let's get lost tonight. Let's get lost tonight. Let's get lost